full swing and for women. The makeup can be stressful, but our friend Shivali Gaba with Shivali Gaba Makeup Artistry is here to make us feel a little bit better. So whether you're a bride or a mom of a bride or in a bridal party, some good tips you have yes. for us. How have you been, Shivali? I've been great. This Thank you This is a busy for time me. for people like you, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so you have this whole list, um, and the first starts with knowing about your, your wedding photographer. Yes. Tell me about that. So wedding photography is a huge part sure. of a wedding. <laughs> Um, you want to figure out what your photographer's aesthetic is. Um, a lot of like current trends have moody, like very saturated photography in mm -hmm. it. While there are other photographers who just have very light, very airy, very bright pictures. Mm -hmm. For the moody photography, a little bit of makeup can become very, very, it can pop very easily. Oh. Your textures will pop very easily, so a little bit of makeup goes a long okay. way. Whereas when you have the really bright, really light, like the lights in here, or like that sort of yeah. editing style. You need style, more makeup then. You actually need more. Right. So you, you can get away with brighter lipsticks, more concealer, and okay. um, like, you know, matte and texture and more Instagram, more trend. And makeup. So you should talk to your photographer and then tell your makeup artist, right? Yeah, and just know what their aesthetic yeah. is and bring pictures. Like, let us okay. know, like, oh, see the work idea. because that you can done. tell what their style is. Yeah. So we we are not like so okay. we know what we're supposed to be doing. Make and, sure everything looks. And good. then the makeup style. Should you go with your your normal style or try something different? Um, so for weddings, you're going to be looking at this these pictures for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Your next generations are going to look at these pictures. Do you want to repeat mullets and blue eyeshadow? or do you want to keep something classic? Um, yeah. You want to go classic because it is something timeless. It's going to be forever in your family albums and you want to make sure it's just timeless. Mm -hmm. And your grandkids look at you like, wow, grandma, you were hot. <laughs> now, you, you get a trial run on the makeup mm -hmm. and you say you should make the most of that. Exactly. So um, I believe that when you have your trial run and if you know this is the artist that you want to go with, um, Use it for your engagement photos. Mm -hmm. Use it for your bridal shower. Use it for your bachelorette party for an event because it's going to be heavily photographed. You're going to see how it wears. It gives you oh, like an yeah. actual trial run of what your makeup's going to do at your wedding day. That's a that's a great idea. Okay, yeah. um, uniformity in group photos. So. I've done a wedding where I did everybody's makeup and it was great and it's uh, but we end up having you know sometimes somebody some people who do their own makeup right and in pictures then we have these beautiful nude rose pink lips and then we have one person who's wearing bright orange oh yeah um, your makeup like speak with your makeup artist I tend to leave a lip gloss with lip wands with my um, bridal party oh, for them idea. to at least for pictures have it and then do whatever you want to do at reception whatever because bridal we're usually very nude and muted okay. and very just soft and pretty anyways. Okay, so there are some things you need to do with, do and not do with your skin yes. before the wedding. So do tell me. not experiment with any new masks or masks or detoxing. Do not wax your skin the week of your wedding. The makeup will not stick. Huh. Uh, you don't want to experiment with self-tanners. Um, really close to the wedding. Have something that you've worked with for months um, and then you can maintain, uh, like get it done maybe a week or two weeks and then maintain until the day off. Okay. Um, and then next we talk about lashes. Um, wedding photography really gets in your face. These pictures are very great close-ups. Sure. Um, I recommend doing either clusters or do individual lashes as to strips because strips can look kind of heavy. Oh, and you for can see adding the to the lash you're saying. Okay. Yeah. So like don't do a lashes. strip of false eye Correct. lashes. Okay. And mascara as well. You want to do waterproof mascara when it comes oh, to yeah, your lashes. Oh yeah, good idea because people might cry. Make yeah. sure everything matches your neck. Yeah, everything like cuz you're going to if you're <laughs> right. using self tanner, it's summertime. We have a lot like makeup, make sure everything matches, mm -hmm. everything blends. Nobody likes dark lines in their pictures. Just just blend, blend, yeah. blend is my mantra for now, life. Now, I learned this from from you when you were here last summer. Use a setting spray. Yes. That's very helpful. Yes. You have to spray all, when your makeup is done, right? You want to have and like this is a makeup artist holy grail. It is the all-nighter setting spray. We all use it, and it's going to keep your makeup on all day, all night long. And that's from Urban Decay. Urban all Decay. There you go. Those are the tips. Also, give yourself lots of time. Be patient. Yes. Stress-free, right? Yes. Shivali, thank you. Thank that you. That was really great. It was great. great to see you. Good tips. Take care. Paul, did you take notes?